Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my review of the 2011 Ford Explorer Limited Edition and you can take a look at it here on my right. Uh, this is a beautiful car, Limited Edition, as you can see in silver. Uh, one of the main features compared to the Limited, to the XLT are the rims. Uh, they have 20 inch rims, the XLT has 18 inch rims and uh, very nice, not too noticeable of a difference. And uh, let's take a look at the side here. Uh, Really, really good looking car from the outside. Uh, let's look at the back. It's a four wheel drive, limited edition. And uh, now I'm gonna go inside it and I'll show you the key fob as this is a keyless car. So basically this is all you get. These are my house keys here, so this has nothing to do with that. And uh, the really good thing about this is you can just go into the car without having to unlock the car. So come follow me as we're going to come in. So I did not press... Uh... Look, I'm not pressing anything. And right away it knows I'm here and it unlocks the car. So I'm going to go inside. And here we are. Uh... Let's get it started. You press the brake and the stop start button, which is located right here. Uh, this is one of the features about the Limited. The XLT does not have the push to start button. And this is one of my favorite features about the Limited car. And uh, let's start it off here. So I press the brake and the stop start button and that's it. So the car is turning on. So uh, let's start off here with the steering wheel and as you can see the steering wheel has a lot of buttons and for a first time user uh, maybe pretty confusing but uh, I'll try to make it very simple. These two d-pads right here with OK buttons are pretty much for each of these screens right here. Uh, this screen is pretty much will tell you all of the car settings. Now since my uh, door is currently open uh, to be able to record this video uh, it's uh, covered there, but I could press OK and get out of that. And this is what gives you, it gives you display mode, which is basically how many miles to the tank it's empty, uh, trips, fuel economy, settings of the car. But it comes in very handy uh, while you're driving. And on the right D-pad, uh, you basically have an, uh, let's see, an entertain. you have four main buttons, which are f entertainment, phone, navigation, and climate and you can access these any times while you're driving uh, if you have your phone connected you can just make a phone call right here as you go to phone my phone's currently not connected so you cannot do that entertainment can take you to uh, any of the radio stations you would like to or your phone uh, through bluetooth usb and many other inputs available uh, navigation you can go right there and climate to control the the climate of the car and the temperature all right so uh, let's look here let's go to the middle over here you have uh, the tire changer basically how your tires will act to uh, on the desert to the snow to a regular road and when it's off-road a lot of very good features there uh, and that's pretty much it all right, so uh, let's start off with the radio. It's a Sony Entertainment System, eight speakers. Uh, one of the good features about the Limited, the XLT has six speakers. So you have a basic uh, radio system here. Uh, the touch panel is also exclusive to the Limited. Uh, you have your frost and rear defrost buttons, auto climate, the temperatures, air condition temperatures, and all that uh, to change all your input sources, the sound, the bass, and um, the effects, a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff you can do with uh, your, this sound system. It's definitely one of the most advanced ones I've ever seen in a car, uh, at, straight out of factory. So, uh, and here you have the the one of the great features about a Ford 
SUVs and Ford cars, which is the Ford Touch Sync. And uh, let's see, let's get it started here. Let's go home. And I guess this home button gives you that Ford screen. There you can see my uh, phone is now connected. My uh, HTC Thunderbolt. As you can see, it's connected there to it by Bluetooth. And basically, I can access my media and uh, phone calls all through the car system. Okay. So, um, basically, you can do a ton of things on the Ford Touch system. Uh, I can ask where am I, and it'll tell me where I am. Uh, currently on DeGraw Street in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, we'll go back here. Quick calls, quick redials. And uh, let's see. Over here you have uh, options to for heated seats. Uh, this is one of the great features, the ambient light. Let's give it a shot. And uh, so I currently have it set to baby blue. And uh, should be shut it off. Uh, never mind. Okay. And let's switch it there. Look at that red green purple so a really a uh, really nice feature there uh, again this is only available with the limited edition and I'll leave it at baby blue which is the way I had it before and uh, let's see you also get traffic pretty much traffic around here this is all included weather right there uh, calendar, notifications, sync apps, just a ton of things. I can't show you everything right now, but there are a ton of things on this. I currently clicked on the radio. You have your AM, FM, high definition radio. Uh, you get a six month trial of Sirius Radio uh, if you buy this brand new. And uh, I'm currently on my first day on it, so let's. Put the volume up a little bit just to see how it is. And let's give you a... Alright, so let's give this a test to see how loud this thing can go. It can be pretty loud and you know, it's 4.30 in the morning here and uh, we just put this radio all the way up. Whoa, a couple of people just woke up here, over there. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Okay, there's no CD inside. You can connect the USB. I currently don't have one connected. So, uh, basic AM and FM, you know, the usual. High definition radio, much better quality than a standard radio. You can connect an SD card and the AVN, which I'll take you to right now in the Media Hub. So, uh, here's the Media Hub, and it says Sync Powered by Microsoft. As you open it, Okay, sorry about that. So as you open it, uh, you'll see your your composite red, white, and yellow video inputs. So basically, what you're able to do with this, uh, I've been asked a lot of questions about this, you're able to really uh, connect any anything uh, that has a video input, and you can pretty much watch it on this screen. Uh, one of the things I'll be doing soon is uh, connecting my PlayStation 3 to the screen and you're actually going to be able to play it because since there is a 110 uh, volt AC jack in the back uh, you, you're, you're going to be able to uh, to play that and uh, connect the laptop to it or anything. I don't know if you could see it right there. And uh, So as I was saying um, the video input that you can connect the composite cables so as you can see there on the on the screen you're able to really connect anything that has a video input and you can also connect it here as we have a regular AC 110 watts, 150, 110 volts, 150 watts, as it says there, uh, right there. And uh, you can pretty much connect it. You get your regular car charger there. You have a couple of more. And you're also able to include uh, or to control uh, temperatures right straight from the back. And right to the back, before we finish up, uh, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, you have a third row of seats, which is currently down. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, oh, I've got to show you the sunroof, of course. So I guess for the sunroof, uh, you control it here. There you go. And to see the moonroof, which is right above us, just press this. And for the moonroof, uh, it's just basically a window which gives you a great view at the moon or at the sunlight, wherever you may be. Uh, thank you so much for watching my 2011 Ford Explorer Limited video here on YouTube. Thanks.